Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very important. It's a topic that, after doing a lot of research, I have never really seen on YouTube regarding Apex Legends, and that is understanding your role within your squad. Now this is going to go beyond just the base of what you see on Apex, such as a defensive legend, an offensive legend, a classified healer, such as Lifeline or Loba, or a recon legend. So those are the four base roles that we're going to see. What we're going to break down in today's video is actually just beyond those four base roles. More roles that actually are more applicable to how you play Apex Legends, and as you improve in the game, you're going to find that these roles are a lot more vital when it comes to playing competitive, ranked, or even at a higher skill level. Now here's a disclaimer, that it really doesn't matter your role on a lower tier level, because the most important concept is that you have to be able to do damage. If you don't do damage, then your role as, let's say, entry fragger, a support, really doesn't matter as if you do not do damage. You have to be able to do damage. You have to understand positioning as your core base. If you do not take at different angles, you don't understand that basis, then these roles really don't have a lot of power behind them. But that is what we're going to discuss today to help you paint a bigger picture on your specific role. Now, the roles that we're going to discuss today are going to be entry fragger, anchor, support, floater, off angle, and of course, IGL. Like we mentioned before, you're going to notice that there's more roles than there are players available in a squad. It's very important to highlight, as well as the last role is a flex role. So let's get into that and let's discuss Entry Fragger first. Now, just as a reminder and other disclaimers, that these are my own titles and names that I've provided for these roles. You may call them something, something different, but as long as you understand the concept, that's the most important thing. So let's discuss a entry fragger. I'm going to use Wraith as a highlight. Entry fragger, somebody, let's say there was a building here, is going to be breaching that building. Now, an entry fragger is going to be somebody who's going to get some of the entry damage in and then work their way into that fight. Let's say they managed to get a crack and they hid behind the door here. The entry fragger is the first person that goes into an encounter. They, now, they can definitely take a different angle as they breach or they can take a different way to create that entry damage. The reason why I like to use Wraith as an example is a lot of other legends can be flexible in this role, but once they have done the damage that they have dealt, they need to back up and reposition. That reposition can mean that they did enough damage to almost knock an individual, and then the next legend will come in, depending on the role that we're about to discuss, to clean up that damage. That is your entry fragger. This is most relatable to those that play Valorant, CSGO, or any other FPS shooter. Now let's approach the situation just a little differently here, but with a role called support. This is where two legends out of the squad will really hug each other. The entry fragger goes in, but you're going to have a support legend be really close nearby. Remember, that doesn't need, mean they have to be exactly right behind them, because all that's going to do is mean that you're just going to get sprayed pretty much down the hallway by an opponent. It's why if you ever notice in your squad that two people always stick together and there's always a third, which we're going to go into that role in just a second. But a support legend is always going to be there to be able to lock down an area. This is also good for a defensive, for, for reset. Let's say the Wraith went in did a little damage, and she queued out and backed out. Well, a Watson or a Costa can definitely be here to clean up that remaining amount of damage. Now, what I'm going to do now is describe, I call this, and it's a relatable to real-time strategy games, it's called micromanagement. Now, you can apply the same logic to Apex Legends in terms of how you go in and do damage. Ideally, it would be great if your entry fragger did all the damage, got all the knocks, but that's not really the case. It's always going to be your support legends that come in and finish up the knocks to make sure that your squad actually clutches up. So let's talk about that uh, micromanagement in, let's just use paint. Let's discuss now micromanagement and the synergy between an entry fragger and a support legend. We're probably going to do a not so positive job, but it's going to be a very crude drawing here within paint, which is a bit archaic, but the plus side, as long as you understand the concept, then we're going to step away and that's the most positive thing here. Now let's say this is our wraith and this is our opponent here. Now, just like a real-time strategy game, you can list some Warcraft, Starcraft, Command and Conquer, two NPCs will fight. This is the Wraith that's going to fight here, and they're going to do damage to one another. Now, let's say the Wraith does equal amount of damage, if not more, to the opponent. The Wraith is going to queue away and leave. This leaves the ability for the support legend, the Watson, or any specific legend, doesn't have to be anybody specifically, because support can be very flexible, just like any one of these roles. And you'll notice that the person will essentially chase that wraith. If they are hard focused on that wraith and they are distracted, even if they go into a queue, they are not focused on this legend here, which means that they get a knock, the wraith is able to reset, and they hold their positioning here as if it was a fortified wall, and now they have a 3v2. 
because we're going to discuss the next role on where their third is going to be located. And this is going to be very important for when you see pros really breach your building and do a really great job on really overwhelming you. So let's discuss that next role. Remember, composition is everything when it comes to your squad. Let's discuss now off angle. Off angle support could be taking height from a different angle to make sure that they're taking shots here. It could be that they're taking another angle on the opposite door to produce a flank to put some pressure on those opponents. Now, off angle is very important, which is why it's interesting that we see Watson, Wraith, and Pathfinder being the OG comp that we see in competitive back in the day. We have a lot more flexibility. It doesn't mean that it's the only comp that'll work. It doesn't mean that we always have to have an off angle. It doesn't mean that we only just have entry fraggers. There are different compositions that can work for various different reasons. Pathfinder, Valkyrie, Horizon all produce more of this off angle type. Even though Valkyrie is listed as a recon, so is Pathfinder, Horizon can technically do the same thing. So let's say we wanted to produce an off angle and two of them were going in the front. If we wanted to quickly get an off angle on the back door to produce a flank, and we know all three of them are focused at this angle, this off angle can produce a line of an opening. They do some damage, we back up. We know that they might back up from the door, they may panic, we might be able to take an angle from the roof, which is why Valkyrie is so powerful in taking those angles as well. And you can see that pressure. Let's say entry fragger went in, horizon can be great for off angle to make sure that they're creating entry damage as well, which kind of provides more of that flex role, which we'll discuss in a moment. But if horizon were to take the off angle, and get somebody off the roof, then fly forward, you fly forward when you know you've done enough damage, and you fly backwards when you realize that the damage is not sufficient enough. But that is off angle. Off angle mostly means taking height from a different angle. It can mean taking an angle from above. It can mean taking an angle from a back end. It can mean taking an angle from this side. As long as you are not in the direct line of fire, you are not entry fragger, you are not the direct support to clean up right after, you are creating an opportunity for the entry fragger and support to work their way in. The worst thing that could happen is having all three individuals in a line and they can have an off angle here to produce some damage for them to breach the doorway against you. So that is off angle. Can get a lot more creative depending on the legend, but off angle support is very, very important. So while it may seem like one person is running away from their squad, so let's say again, we have off angle support. We have some legends that are flexible. Even Loba can technically fill that role or even Vantage as she takes height. But let's say we wanted to take off angle support a little early just to create some damage. Just to at least get up on the ramps here. You can always do it more elo eloquently. Eloquently. I can speak out loud today. English isn't apparently my first language. You know that you have that angle of support from above. When you have that, it creates pressure and it creates openings. Now, let us discuss the next role, which is called Anchor. Anchor it can be produced by any legend, even if you're not defensive. The best example is having a defensive legend that can create space and anchor a position. Having fences is a great way to anchor a position. Anchoring doesn't just necessarily mean living inside the building. I also recommend highly to everyone playing to first anchor the outside of the building or the roof. Anchoring means that you are avoiding enemy teams from running up. Anchoring becomes more important as you want to hold positions that are height. Let's say the zone is closing towards us and a team has to push us from here and here. We need to anchor this position to stop teams from taking the best optimal position which is where we're located. And Anchor m will most likely start to utilize longer range, mid range to keep teams at bay. I like to run, let's say Watson with a longbow and R301. I've done that in competitive at one point and I've seen it used quite a bit as well when you spectate teams. You always have one person holding the position. Let's say they want to secure a spot. You'll see the entry and support, which is we're going to get into talking about those flex roles or even entry and, and off angle go in and try to find an opening the anchor or support may hold here and wait for the opportunity to go in and clean up now that's the interesting part is that there's not enough roles for the there's too many roles for the amount of people that are in the squad so anchoring is very very important now let us discuss the next role, which is also very similar to Entry Fragger, which can also be a flex between the two. It's called a floater. Let's say your legend is anchoring and you have somebody who has an R99 and a shotgun. Their role is to run around and to float. Now let's say they take a lot of damage, but they did a lot of damage back and they hide behind corner and then they retreat back. Now this is the job of the anchor to either secure that kill from a distance or produce an opening from like their off angle to be able to secure that kill as well the floater has the ability to get back easily into position but still occupy space they are like the first line of defense as if this was a football team you know you got you got your front line you got 
a full team, whatever you want to use as an example, whether it was a military term, you got your first line of defense. And that's really key. The more space you occupy, the better. So let's say even if you were on height up here and your team was anchoring in the back, well, that's also a positive because at least you're able to anchor and reposition and hold those specific ankles. A floater roll. A floater is very important because if everyone is just hiding scared inside a building, what do you think the first thing they're going to do whenever they push that building is that they're going to entry and just take it right from you. Having a floater is very, very important and you'll see it at a higher level and you'll see very very much pro players will utilize the floater roll to create an opening and find weak spots. If you ever seen the movie Signs, the ending of the movie, the aliens are knocking everywhere. You'll see them knocking on the roof, the doors, and in the movie they explain they're looking for cracks and holes because they're quote unquote very intelligent creatures even though they couldn't open a door. But now I use that parallel and example to give you an example that a floater is just looking for openings. Can we rotate here? What are our options? What can we do? And this can be done with various legends and it doesn't have to necessarily be based on their toolkit. It depends on the strength of the player and their positioning. Now let's wrap up with probably one of the most important roles. You can have an IGL and I'm going to take height here just so we can take a look at the map. An IGL can be a floater looking for an opening so they can push in. It could be the anchor, the person who is anchoring, looking at also damage that they do from a distance, and can also be the off angle perched up really high to see where enemy teams are located. You also can have the role of co-IGL. You may have one IGL that's having all the information, but your off angle legend is providing you even more to provide information to your main IGL. So now IGL can be mixed. So when we discuss all of these roles and we pair them all together, you're going to realize an anchor can be also support. An entry fragger can also be a floater. An off angle legend can also be an entry fragger. And your IGL can potentially be an entry fragger and also play the role of an anchor. Because they may anchor for a little while and they may give, give up the positioning. Remember, Apex, I, I like to think of it like a game of chess. There's a lot of different roles and they all really matter. And it's not just one rule or role that always goes. Sometimes breaking rules and giving up your queen a little early thinking six moves ahead can actually net you a, a win. You have to outthink your opponent and why it might be the standard rule, oh, I did damage time for off angle to go and find a position and get become the attack dog. So let's say we have the off angle legend. We had the entry, the Wraith did some damage and you know the infamous thing is like, okay, send the attack dog to go in and secure the kill and create that opening. Well, that's where you see that occur because they're confident because they're off angle that they know they can find an off angle position and secure the elimination and then entry fragger and support can come in to help clean up as well. Now you can get creative with this. There's not just one way, which is why I'm not telling you there's only one way to play this game. You can look at this roster and realize that a bloodhound or seer can also play the role of an off angle. They could also be entry. Seer could throw down his ultimate and be an entry fragger as well and you might be able to anchor very well with a scan legend i've seen it done before where it staves off a team because information is very much key kind of highlights the power of the scan meta that we currently see i hope this video is helpful for all of you remember as you improve roles start to matter a lot more as you're still beginning just again remember the disclaimer you have to be able to do damage and you have to be able to have positioning if you have any of those questions, there's plenty of content here on the channel where we break it down or comment down below for missing that video here. I just felt like this one was missing on YouTube. I worry that if it's going to get uh, views whatsoever, but it's not, not about views. Hopefully somebody walks away from this and says, thank you. I didn't realize that perspective on things. And remember that the nomenclature that I produced may not match others. And you can put your own words of what you call various roles. Appreciate all you guys for watching and we'll see you guys all in the next video.